In this video, we'll learn about the topic named as events. So I'm working in the sheet that is VBA events, Excel VBA events. Now what exactly is event? Any occurrence or any changes in your worksheet, maybe you do something else. Let's say you open a worksheet, close a worksheet, open a workbook, close a workbook, or do you change some cells from here and there? Any changes or any triggering event will create some action. So that is the event topic all about. So more details you'll understand when we go through these examples. Let us see that. Now, if you see, I'm in the cell Excel VBA events file and I have few sheets here. Now what I want is, I want to create an event where if I keep on changing the cells, my cell color should change. If I keep my cursor at this location, the cell color should change. If I move from this place to another place, the selected cell color should change. So that is nothing but triggering the event because of which there is something happening at the back end. Let us see that. So I'll go to developer tab and click on this visual basic and I have three sheets. If you see sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, which sheet do you want to work? Which sheet do you want this event to occur? So if I say I want to create in the sheet one, just double click on sheet one, you're in the sheet one code itself. Now, from here, what I can do is I can select different event that is worksheet. Okay, so I've got a sub procedure, private sub procedure. That means it, it will work only in this sheet. Worksheet underscore selection change. If there is any selection change in the worksheet, what should happen? That thing will come into this place itself. So, what should happen? As I said, the color of the cell should change. And we already know how to change the color cell that is interior dot color, and you have to give the name. But here, what you can do is, you can use something new. I'll use as target.interior.color equal to VB red. You might be knowing .interior.color equal to VB red. That's a thing which you have learned in the cells. Target means wherever I click, wherever I select, that thing should be colored into red background. Very simple, very easy. So this is only in the sheet one. If I double click on sheet two, I do not have this code. So I'll just double click on sheet one. Let us see practically. If I click on this run button, sorry, I'll click on cancel, click on this place, or, or I can just close this window dialog box. And now I am in the sheet one. Okay, if I click on this cell, if you see this has been red color because it's a target one. If I click on this place, red color, VB red, VB red. Okay, so if you keep on clicking the cells, that will become red. If you select more than one cell, let's say if you select more than one cell, that will be red. Okay, so that is I'm triggering the event. Okay, I'm triggering something because of which there is some output action. Okay, that is happening. But will it work if I change the sheet? If I click on sheet two, if I click on particular cell, it will not work because this event is only specific to sheet one. Why? Because I have written this code into sheet one. So I'll show you. I'll go to developer tab, click on visual basic. I have written this code in the sheet one code itself. Therefore, it will work. Otherwise, it will not work. Let us try one more. Now, I don't want to change the cell color, but I want to change the font color in the particular sheet. But to change the font color, you should have some text. So what I'll do is I'll close it. I'll write some text into this sheet. Okay. And I'll write here as January and then I'll drag down. Okay, so I've written as Jan to November somewhere. Okay, and I want this to be colored into, let's say, yellow, or I'll write as yellow color. So I'll go to developer tab and I'll click on this visual basic. Also, I'll write as I want wherever I click the same target dot font dot color should be as VB yellow. Right, it should become as VB yellow. Let us see now. I'll just close this. VB editor. Now, if you observe here, if I click my if I keep my cursor on Jan, this should become as yellow color. If I keep my cursor on August, it will become yellow color. Again, on this November, it will become yellow color. So, whichever cells you have, and if you select all the data, will become into yellow color font. The reason is because I'm changing something. I'm triggering something because of which there's something happening. Okay. So, I'll go back to developer, and you see. If you do the same thing for other sheets, same thing will happen. Okay. But right now it is saying as selection dot change. If you want to change different events here, you can select from here that is activate or you can say as before delete, before click and so on. So let us see. We'll see those areas one by one in the entire example. I hope you have understood how to work with the events with the VBA editor. That's all for this video.